Hello everyone, in this video we are discussing important questions of physics, so let's start. The first question, speedometer of a car measures options A. Average speed, B. Average velocity, C. Instantaneous speed and D. In instantaneous velocity. And the answer is option C. Instantaneous speed. Now the second question. Working of a rocket is based on the principle of A. Kepler's law, B. Newton's law, C. Coulomb's law, and D. Conservation of momentum. And the answer is option D. Conservation of momentum. Now the third, which, sorry, when a constant force is applied to a body, it moves with uniform options A. Speed, B. Acceleration, C. Velocity, D. Momentum. And the answer is acceleration. Now the fourth question, the term centripetal acceleration was proposed by options A. Huygens, B. Kepler, C. Newton, D. Galileo. And the answer is option C. Newton. Fifth question, stopping distance of a moving vehicle is directly proportional to A. Square of initial velocity, B. Square of initial acceleration, C. The initial velocity, D. The initial acceleration. And the answer is the square of initial velocity, option A. Now the sixth question, angular momentum is equal to a moment of inertia multiplied by angular acceleration, B mass multiplied by velocity, C moment of inertia multiplied by angular velocity and D velocity multiplied by time. And the answer is moment of inertia multiplied by angular velocity option C. Now seventh question which of the following is not force? A impulse B tension C thrust D weight and the answer is impulse now it moment of inertia multiplied by angular acceleration is equals to a force B work done C angular momentum D torque and the answer is torque Lying on the table, what is the angle between the action of the book on the table and the reaction of the table on the book? Options A 0 degree, B 45 degree, C 180 degree and D 90 degree. Answer is 180 degree. Now the tenth question. A cyclist bends while taking turn to options A reduce friction, B Generate required centripetal force. C. Reduce apparent weight. D. Reduce speed. And the answer is option B. Generate required centripetal force. Eleventh question. Swimming becomes possible because of law of motion. A. First. B. Second. C. Third. D. None of these. Answer is third law of motion. Now twelfth, cream get separated out of milk when it is churned because of a centrifugal force, b fractional force, c centripetal force, d gravitational force. And the answer is option A centrifugal force. Now the thirteenth question: If the speed of a particle undergoing circular motion is double and its radius is halved then the centripetal force will be a increase four times b decrease four times c increase two times d increase eight times answer is option d increase eight times let me explain this for calculating centripetal force f is equals to m v square by r मतलब mass into velocity का square by r मतलब radius 
सो क्वेश्चन में गिवन है कि हमें वेलोसिटी डबल करनी है रेडियस हाफ करना है सो इट विल बी एम टू वी का होल स्क्वायर बाय हाफ ऑफ द रेडियस जब हम इसे फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे तो इट विल बी फोर्स विल बी एम फोर वी स्क्वायर बाय हाफ ऑफ आर दैन अगेन इट विल सो ये जो टू है इट विल गो देयर एंड बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फोर सो इट विल बी एम फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू वी स्क्वायर अपॉन आर दैन इट विल बी फोर्स विल बी एट एम वी स्क्वायर बाय आर ओके तभी हमारा आंसर था एट टाइम इंक्रीज कर जाएगा Now the fourteenth question: A body is moving with uniform velocity. Its acceleration will be a positive, b negative, c zero. D cannot be determined. And the answer is zero. Now fifteenth question: The moment of inertia of a body comes into play. A in motion along a curved path. B in linear motion. C in rotational motion. D in vibrational motion. Answer is option C in rotational motion. Thank you.